Hi, Dr. Joe here, and I want to tell you about why the facet joints are the key to getting out of back pain during golfing. And some of the mistakes I see made amateur golfers and higher level golfers have to do with the position of the facet joints. And when they get this position wrong, the back is pretty much bound to hurt. So a quick lesson, facet joints in your lower back, which you see coming up on your screen, they control the amount of movement allowed in your lower back. In your lumbar spine, which is your lower back, they allow flexion and extension. Extending will close your facet joints. Flexing will open your facet joints. If you bend to your right side, you'll close the facets on the right, open on the left. And if you bend to the left, you're going to have the opposite happen. So let's take a look at the golf swing. As I go through the golf swing and I come down to the ball, I'm side bending right. So let me work my way out of this. See, I'm side bended right. There is no way to take right side bending out of the golf swing for a right-handed golfer. You have to do it. But what we can manipulate is flexion and extension of the lumbar spine. Check out this quick picture of some professional golfers, and you'll see the lower back is rounded, which, again, opens the facet joints. A lot of amateurs and some high-level golfers, as they go into their downswing, will either have their hips move toward the ball or even stay where they are, but they'll arch through their back. And that's a killer for your facet joint. Even if you stay neutral, it doesn't give you as much of a room for air that's creating flexion. So what we're gonna do about it is try and create posterior pelvic tilt. So if I sit, stand sideways, posterior pelvic tilt is gonna round my lower back, opening the facet joints. So as we come down into the swing, we're side bending and we're posteriorly tilted. We're closing with the side bend, but we're opening with the posterior tilt, which is gonna free up space in those facet joints, limit them from jamming together. And when you irritate the facet joints, what else is right there? The nerves exiting your spine. And that's why a lot of times people get lower back pain while golfing.